Okay, once again, welcome back to the Viewpoints with me, your boy, the man, NJ, to the city with the number two in CL. I'm pretty much picking back up where I left off on my video that I posted, just posted, titled The State of Our Education System. Uh, 10, 23, 17, I'm filming this on the exact same day. Shout out, God bless that uh, one viewer uh, who has viewed it and it's been out. Uh, uh, fresh the page, uh, 24 minutes. If you go back on it now, it's going to say two views, but that's just because I went ahead and watched it again. And not so I can purposely give myself two views. I don't ever watch my videos so I can purposely give myself views. That's artificial, by the way. That's artificial. I was the artificial inflation. That's really a somewhat artificial inflation of, 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 um, of, um, how do I put it? Of numbers. That's somewhat of an artificial inflation of numbers. But I watched it again because I had already deleted it from my, um, iPad, which I'm filming all these, all these, these vids from. I, the, the I just deleted it from my iPad. So I wanted to watch it again to see what I had, you know, Said in it, and I just watched it. So I'm just saying, if you go back on there, you're gonna see two views. That second view is from me, and not because I purposely want to give myself a view. Trust me, I wish that YouTube did not count it when, when you, when the uh, when they count that's under, you know, gives it a view. I wish it wouldn't count because, like I said, that's kind of artificial inflation there, or just artificial, whichever word you want to throw in there when it comes to, you know, you know, you viewing your own video, but then you want to say people are viewing you know, like, dude, you, you know. Like, like the only one that's you and it is you <laughs> to a certain degree. You, you guys understand the point I'm trying to say. It's like an artificial thing there, you know, because it's like saying you want to see you popping, but the only it's like saying you want to see you popping with views, but then next thing you know, nobody knows has ever heard of you, and then you know, then the evidence comes out, and it's like, wait a minute, the only one that's been viewing your stuff is you, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. Y'all understand the point I'm trying to make here. If I made y'all laugh within the last 30 seconds, I'm very happy for that. But you get the point, you know, what I'm trying to make here. But instead of our education system, as I was saying, it really does make it a tad bit more 2020 clearer. When you look at some of the school reviews and you see what they say when it comes to, uh, when, when it comes to it. Because, you know, I've been known for the longest time that St. John's was the number one school district in the entire state of Florida. Especially with all the growth and development we got going on around here with the buildings and stuff like that of how, of new New houses, new shops, especially over here in Nocatee. Like I say, you know, I know everything's popping and the growth is, and the, the development. I'm an ambassador for it all. I'll never forget that I'm an ambassador for it all. But I'm going to tell you this. One of the top reasons why I'm again so passionate about once I graduate from these high school with my diploma coming back uh, as a volunteer and going to really all these schools as a volunteer because I there's a lot of cleanup that I need to personally do. A lot of investigation and research that I need to do to make my cleanup of our schools better. And what do you mean cleanup? It's probably a lot, a lot of y'all say. What do you mean cleanup of our schools? Like there are eight schools. Here's the thing: if you read some of these these reviews and spoke to some of the people that go there, trust me, that A is you know, I want to say that A is not for everybody's experience. Not everybody at our schools will grade our schools in A. And let me be more specific there: not every school student that goes to our schools will grade our schools in A. Not and and legitimately. You know, regardless of which, which county you're in, if you listen to this video ever, listen up. And this is for not just St. John's, any county out there that has, you know, eight marks across the board. You know, you need to not, I'm sorry, but don't just take, I mean, God bless greatschools.org. And I'm not trying to hugely bash anybody, but I know I'm totally being a good watchman right now. And I'm spreading awareness towards the negatives of everything God knows I've learned over the past two years when it comes to our school reviews and all the people that go there, you know, um, just because we have these grade A schools, and again, I'll prom I will promote that to the, even after the day I die. Don't ever get it twisted. I'm still promoting these. I'm still promoting St. John's. I'm still promoting State of Florida. I'm still promoting. Come over here, flock over here, especially to Tanakati. Flock over here and grow your family with us and live the Tanakati Young Life lifestyle. You know so, but um. To any county out there, it, you do more research than just, again, shout out what's greatschools.org, but do more research than just great schools, Yelp, and whatever else. Do more do more research and go to actually go to the school and ask some of the students because, honestly, again, I've been going to school with these kids for years, and honestly, this is how it shapes up. Not everybody at our schools are in love with the school as I am, or not even nearly close to in love with the school as I am. And, that, and that's just how it is, you know. 
Not everybody who goes to our schools are as passionate about it and in love with the schools as I am. I'm looking. I'm so in love with our schools. Then you see how I promote it in every single video and every single song. That's how much I'm in love with our schools and I care about our schools and I care about our kids and our education system and our teachers and our faculty and our staff. But I'm telling you, do more research than just greatschools.org. Shout out God was greatschools.org. I'm not bashing you. I love y'all. I I've looked up on um, many many schools on your your website. Phenomenal job, especially with the way you organize the info. Thank you very much. And even Google reviews. Shout out what's them for everything they've, they've done with how they, they've organized it as well. Phenomenal. But for you, for, for any grade A school system, for the love of God, please, parents and whoever else, uh, I was a parents, teachers, students, faculty, staff, whoever, you know, whether you're going there as a student or you're working there, a part of the faculty and staff and administration, teachers, just do your research on what you're walking into. And I mean, more than just looking at the reviews, literally go to the school or go to some of the games and ask people, hey, you know, what's the overall environment and, and uh, environment and atmosphere of the, this, this school like or this? Or don't just have to apply to school because you apply to local businesses, local shops, local whatever, you know. It, but I'm telling you, you know, you really need to do that because you can, no offense to great schools that are but you can be fooled by some of these reviews. Because you, because again, no offense to our middle schools, because again, God knows how much I love our middle schools, and how much again the net middle schools are again a part of the next generation, as well as the elementary schools over here, the next generation, the birth of a nation, the uh, God's gift, um, American dream, inspiration. You know, I love y'all. Take care. I shout y'all out, and I'm pretty much every song I made. I haven't made all these songs that they dedicated to the youth for nothing, like Younglings, Freshman Frontier, Landon Mbasetti, Mbasetti Bay Wildcats. And a few others, but those are the ones right off the top of my head I can name. But you get the point. Uh, every kid is special. You get the point. But I'm telling you, you know, you really need to you just do more research because honestly, you be amazed how many kids who go to our go to go to my alma mater. And again, I love niece. Don't ever get it messed up. I love niece. I'm in love with niece. I care about niece. Nice is my school and my alma mater, and I'm fighting for it and defending it and promoting it. You know, even after the day I die, John three sixteen, no lie. You know what's up, but um, not every kid that goes to our school hate. I mean, not, yeah, not every kid that goes to our school hates it. Not every kid that goes to our school likes it. Not every kid, you know, loves it. You know, and I mean, do I hate to be saying this right now? I kind of do hate to say it, but who am I kidding? I'm. God knows I'm telling you the God honest truth. Not everybody loves niece. Not everybody, you know, cares about niece. But I'm telling you as your ambassador of the school, and again, I talk to these kids every day. So I'm not going to lie on them and say that everybody loves this school because not everybody loves this school. These these kids will probably come out and, again, on any given day and tell you, you know, how, and tell you otherwise. I'm not going to lie on these kids. Some of these, you know, some of these kids love it, some like it, some don't care about it. Like some, like some is neutral, you know, it's really they mixed feelings to a certain degree. But I can tell you, I love it. One of the top reasons I'm repping it every day is as the ambassador. I love it. I care about it. I want to see it for the growth and development. I want to see every next generation come in here and flourish and prosper and succeed. But I'm telling you, you know, and sorry for pretty much somewhat picking my nose almost every 30 seconds. Forgive me for that. Forgive me greatly for that. Um, but I'm telling you, think about it. This is just this is research, and then just going to going to the school every day and talking to the kids, especially our lunch schedule this week. Shout out to all the kids throughout this lunch schedule, but I'm not gonna lie, I did not like it. Uh, but again, love the faculty and staff, love the administration, and hopefully we will get this figured out in an orderly and properly, you know, sand this over clean, pure manner. Cause I'm again next generation, especially for my freshmen and even. But especially for my, no, again, love all the grades, but especially for the freshmen and seniors, I'm totally fighting for you all on this behalf. And be like, fighting for what? I do not want my seniors going through this school year telling me, and I quote, I hate this school and I can't wait to get the heck up out of it because I'm never coming back. And I would never recommend this to another, you know, person ever again. You get the point. And the last thing I want is the freshmen saying somewhat the exact same thing. But theirs is water like, we hate this school, this is worse than middle school, and we, you know, actually, or just starting to drop out, because I have how many freshmen starting to drop out almost every day. But usually when they say that, it's just to tick me off, because they know that they know that's going to tick me off. 
they know threatening, threatening to drop out is going to tick me off. And the reason why it ticks me off because, like I say, I care about the youth too much, so much, passionate about it, I'll die for it. It's every day I live for it. But you get the point. Uh, I tell the youth every day, you're not dropping out. Your parents are not going to let you. I don't know about the school itself, but parents are not going to let you, and I'm not going to let you. You have too much to live for, especially if you're 14, 15 years old. You know your parents are not going not gonna to let, 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 you, let you drop out. And if they do, then again, um, well, how about this? Because they're not they're, they're not, not, they're not as a 10, they're not going to let you drop out of school completely. What they'll do is they'll put you on virtual school or whatever else. It's probably what they'll 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 do but for me i'm gonna fight you know you know you, you know you know fight for you to you know still be in school having a good time you know you get the point but of course you know if you really want to leave like i say you know i'm just i'm trying my best to just work with everybody you know in a sane and sober pure and clean manner because like i said i believe in everybody i believe in all the kids i believe in the faculty and staff i believe in the teachers and the teachers and administrators i believe in everybody Literally, sorry for scratching my nose almost every 30 seconds. It's just really tabby itchy right now. But like I say, just do more research on, on our schools because I keep hearing too many kids each year come from our middle schools and tell us how much they hated it. I keep hearing that too much. And I don't like hearing that. Don't everything I like hearing that. Okay, I'm going to scratch my nose again. Forgive me, but my nose is really itchy right now. But yeah. I can't stand that. Shout out to us, Bassetti Bay, Switzerland Point, uh, Valley Ridge Academy, Liberty Pines. Uh, I'm trying to name almost every middle school in our county. But I'm telling you, not every kid has this opinion. But a majority of that I've spoke to over the past three, four years have this opinion, even though I'm a fifth year senior, but you get the point. A majority have this opinion about our middle schools, about how they sucked, they were too strict, they were like a prison. And all, all, all the other stuff. And these are, these are just God honest opinions about what they've told me. I'm not going to sit here and lie to y'all. I love the county. And I'll keep promoting it. Yeah, the day I die. And I want these aspects of the society and the culture to be cleaned up. Which is one of the type reasons why I'm so passionate about walking into all these schools as a faithful volunteer. And doing my job to clean it up. Because... I don't like hearing stories about this teacher didn't teach, this teacher don't teach, this teacher needs need to be fired or whatever. I don't like hearing that stuff. But hey, it's legitimately these kids' stories. And as the ambassador that I am, and again, as also this is the real person I am, I need, I need to hear the stories and see what I can do to help work the system in a constructive, innovative way to where it helps and works for everybody. Like I said, I'm scratching scratch, scratch my nose almost like every 30 seconds here. So forgive me for that. But the point is, no matter what school system you go to, one of the biggest points is no matter what school system you go to, please, for the love of God, do more research. Do good, consistent, liable, reliable research. And don't be afraid to go to that school yourself. Take, not only just take a tour, but as well, talk to some other people like you know about it who go to that school. You know, go to the game, see how that atmosphere is, talk to the faculty, the staff, you know, some of the students, you know, and do it, own it. Because I'm telling you, you know, you don't want to, because again, I I want y'all to flock down here. I want everybody to flock down here and live the, live, live, live the life with us, grow your family with us. But I don't want you moving down here sold on it being a safe haven just for you to come down here and next thing you know, it's almost anything but that. And in many cases, Nocatee, Nice, the entire complex of Palm Beach, Nocatee, in many cases, it is a safe haven. But in many, but in other cases, it still has its flaws that need to be cleaned up. And that's one of the top reasons why I'm here, repping everything I am as, am as the ambassador. And I'm going to do my job over my dead body. Will I not? I'm going to do my job to help clean up all this stuff and make sure that in every which way we are living up to our name, our title, and our ranking. We got this. And we're going to own this thing. Further growth and development, you understand the point as well. Because like I said, I want all the further growth and development to flock down here, live the lifestyle with us, and know that they weren't duped. Know that this is actually real life. This is, you know... And the flaws are being cleaned up and so forth and so forth. So it's a better tomorrow for all. 
Jesus above all, when you are spiritually saved and words, what it means to ball. Love y'all. God bless more videos coming soon. Take care.